Good morning again. It was a pleasure to be here, and we're going to have some fun today. So some of the stuff I'm doing right off the bat, don't get squirmy in your chair. Just realize it's all fun. And uh, the theme of the conference itself actually gels quite nicely with what I have prepared. You will notice in your handouts on the evaluation a couple of items, such as adaptive communications um, and integrating social media into the real world. I put a little more meat in some other areas. So just understand I've tried to tweak it a little bit. Um, I'll cover as much as I can in our hour. But I want to get started. There we go. There we go. We've got to get used to the new clicker. Here's some concepts I want you to consider that are going on in our world. One concept. There we go. One concept is PowerPoint clickers don't always work. We live in a rapidly changing world. Who would agree with that? Buyers are incredibly busy. Tell me if you get me, tell me if I get off base. Competition is fierce. We are in a tough economy. Our world moves rapidly. We live in an impersonal world at many times. We live now in a globally connected world. Why the things such as Greece make such a difference to us? We're all interconnected. Things will continue to change. John Leininger and I were speaking last night about it's not will they change, it's about how quickly they will continue to change. And that's just the mindset we have to, have to grasp. Do we have to like it? Not necessarily, but it will happen. So the solution of the book I wrote, which the speech is based upon, is that everyone's in sales philosophy. And it's a mindset. And that's what I'm going to try to cover today as best I can in this hour. But first, I need to tell you some bad news. It's, it's hard after 20 years of printing and mailing to know that Printing and mail are you're here because it's dying. But I'm just kidding. Because every time I turn around, that's what you got. Don't believe that. Don't believe that. We don't need all the rediscover print or rediscover this. The more I travel, John Foley and I were speaking last night in the social media circles, the more relevant printing and mailing becomes. I want you to know that and believe that throughout this conference. I just started collecting that stuff just in the last week of stuff sent to me, and that's in one week of stuff of printed data that's mailed to me, which applies to us. But there is a thing that I deal with with training and consulting in price. And you know, price, if we all agree with it, is a big factor. Who agrees with that a little bit? But I'm not here to say that, and I'm sorry. You know, if price is all that matters, then we're not adding value. And that's what we're going to be speaking about today. That's to get your attention. We're all getting going this morning. Here. But, but, but I don't have any more props. That's it. Uh, but, 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 you know, price, price is important. We're all dealing with price. But I'm here to talk about value and what we bring to the table. And that's what we're going to do. So everyone's in sales from the ball field to the boardroom. Everyone's in sales is a new type of sales. And by the way, Ashley brought one. If we have time, best question, insider question at the end, free copy of the book today, which goes into depth. So be thinking of the questions we have time, or the insights we have time, and I brought one book of that up here today. Concepts to consider. We all hear things like, I'm drowning, I'm slammed, I'm buried, I'm in the weeds, I'm coming up for air, I'm covered up, I'm swamped. Kind of bleak. Kind of bleak. But we all do it. I do it. You ever find yourself saying those terms? Why? Because we're all trying to do so many things. But today, I challenge you for this hour no excuses. No excuses. Just solutions. When I do consulting work, everyone wants to tell me, you don't understand, Ryan. Our business in, in 1998 was doing this, or in 2003 was doing this. I, I do understand. I do. But just making an excuse doesn't do anything. You have to have an excuse and a solution. I'll take the excuse, but bring me a solution. If I'm coaching a team and someone wants to complain about their kid playing, I understand. Why don't you come help me coach? And I don't want to do that. I just want to complain. So I offer this as an opportunity for no excuses and solutions into brainstorming. Because today we're going to operate as an asset mindset. What if it could be done? 
What if you could take your business tomorrow with a blank sheet of paper? And this is a tough concept to grasp, but what things would you do differently? Would you draw your business model up differently? Would it look the same? Would you have the number of same number of support people? Would it be a hierarchical? Would it be more decentralized? Would it be less centralized? Whatever the mindset is, what would you do differently? So assetive thinking says, don't kill the brainstorm. Believe for the next hour what I'm saying, going, you know, there are a few things that I probably would do differently. Without saying, well, that'll never work. That's impossible. That sounds really good for a seminar. Just try. And what if? What if it could be done? What if? So that's the mindset we're going to happen today. So let me go ahead and get into the essence of the, the whole idea of sales and communications. Typical sales is dean, pushy, aggressive, the gimmicky type person. Um, for example, people like to call me and say, Ryan, we're calling you today, Ryan, because Ryan, we've heard that Ryan, you are the guy to talk to Ryan about, I got it. You were trained to say people like their name. It's a really nice sales strategy. Or body mirror. Here's another great one. So, by the way, does this stuff work? I'm going to come to that in a minute. So if you're talking to somebody, and I kid you not, I've had two or three people I've watched recently do this, to the extent, if you're standing like this, they're going to kind of stand like this. If you cross your arms, they're going to cross their arms. If you put your face like this, they're going to, and all of a sudden, you kind of got to dance. <laughs> you got to dance going there. You can have some fun with it. Why? They were trained people like people that mirror back. If you're a stern person, look up stern. If you're a smiling person, you sit back. Is that true? With the PhD I'm working on human you know, leadership, so, yeah, that is true. But does anybody want someone to do that to the degree that some salespeople do? Or the power handshake, the death grip guy that just wants to crush your palm. You can still shake my hand, but you don't need to crack a bone. I got that you were enthusiastic about it. All of these are not part of everyone's in sales philosophy. What it is about is authenticity, listening, honesty, integrity. Now, I was working with a client not too long ago, and she said, that's great that you think that. What about, what about those people that do all those other things? Can they not sell? I mean, I'm sure they do. I mean, people make money doing that. I said what I think. I'm not saying other people can't choose to disagree. To me, it's about that. And I think many people would agree with that. Some people may not. That's fine. But that's what this talk is about. But I want to quickly reframe the word sales to communications, plural. Sales, we're going to see being used interchangeably from here on out as communications. People have boxed sales into a job title, a job description. When I work with mailing companies, fulfillment companies, binary companies, printing companies, creative companies, the mindset is, we, we just got to go hire the right people to get business in the door. Okay, that's true. There are job titles, certainly, of sales representatives or VPs of sales. But sales is a mindset. We're all trying to communicate our message. If there's one Diet Coke and one Coke in that room in there, and I'm trying to get the last Coke, I'm like, I really, I'm really not going to eat and have any more of those uh, aspartame or whatever's in that stuff. I, I really need the regular Coke. Is there any way I can get that? If you can drink water or something else. I'm still selling to that person trying to get my message across. Well, it's not sales. Really? Well, what is it? When you go to your, your kid's school and you're talking to the teacher and you disagree about something rightly or wrongly, you're saying, but no, you don't understand. They're not understanding the assignment in the class and they, they're a little bit slow on this math issue. They just need a little extra help. Are you not selling your position? So instead of the word sales, I interject the word communications. <laughs> 